All right, so this will seem kind of silly, but we're just going to do something easy and simple at first and then go from there. So um, if, I, if I graph this, whoops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do a new tab. If I graph cosine of theta, The reason, and I gotta do, I gotta check a couple of things. I want to make sure that it's in radian. Yeah, it's in radian. Okay, good. So it's in radian mode, and what I want to do is I want to figure out what is uh, cosine of negative five pi over six. So remember that cosine. Of theta, it's an even function. Okay, so cosine of negative five pi over six is equal to cosine of five pi over six. They're going to be the exact same value. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you how, how why that is on uh, the graph. So, what I need to do is I need to find define the point uh, five pi over six. So, five pi over or negative five pi over six. I don't want that one. Well, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to say x equals negative 5 pi um, divided by 6. Oh, I hit the wrong thing, divided by 6. And so right here at this intersection, that's a negative uh, root 3 over 2. Okay. So if I do the positive of that, um, 5 pi divided by 6, I'm going to get the same value. So these have the same, same values. It's because um, cosine is symmetrical about the y-axis. That's it. So if I were to, if I were to graph... Um, y equals negative point, well, let's just do the exact value. So if I do square root, i got to remember how to get the square root thing in there. I think it's S-Q-R-T, yep, 3 divided by 2. All right, so the reason for that is because it is symmetrical about the y-axis. So if I go if I go a certain distance this way, but I also go the same distance this way, it's always going to consistently cross at the same y value. That's why cosine does that. Does that make sense? So let me take a screenshot of that. Maybe I'm over teaching this concept. Right, that's what I do. And so the reason for that is this. That's what sine would do. So then what does that mean? Well, we said that this was equal to negative the square root of 3 over 2, right? Now, here's one I want you guys to think about. What if we were to do sine of negative 5? over six. Well, that would be equal to negative sine of positive five over six. And so let's look at that graphically and see what that means. So if I come in here and I just change this from sine, now I've got a whole different thing. This cross is right here. But then over here on this side, it crosses on the top. 
Do you see the difference? So here it crosses here, and here it crosses here. And that's the difference. And it, it, it just has to do with the shape of the graph. By the way, what is that value? It would be negative one half. 